Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the first part of our video chat app. In this video, we will look at the basic flow of, uh, of WebRTC and then we're going to bootstrap our WebSocket server with Node.js and TypeScript. And we're going to test it once we're done. Uh, the packages we're going to use uh, will be um, Express and WS, which is WebSockets. Okay, let's have a look at the WebRTC basic flow. Uh, make this bigger. Okay, basically uh, what we, in this section, we will be building this this part of it. It's the HTTP um, server. Obviously, we won't be using HTTP for this purpose. Um, uh, the signal server uh, built by WebSockets. Basically, what it does is like a proxy between the two pairs, be between Bob and Alice. Um, so basically, uh, Alice sends um, an offer to Bob and Bob answers back and then they will use the information and make a connection between the two. Okay, this is the basic flow, but if you want to um, find out more about, learn more about WebRTC, I've got a pretty good um, site here for you. Uh, it's kind of like an ebook by Sean, uh, the creator of uh, Pion WebRTC. Um, basically, in this website, you have everything you need to know uh, about WebRTC. Okay, enough theories. Um, before we make a start doing our coding, I just want to like mention one more thing. Uh, some of you might ask, uh, why why don't you use Simple Peer or PeerJS? Why are you writing all this? You know, again, uh, my my main point is I want everyone you know that watches this video to understand WebRTC. How, how how WebRTC works under the hood. So that's why I chose to, you know, write everything, you know, from scratch. So you have a better picture of uh, what, you know, what you, what Web, WebRTC is and how it works. Okay, let's uh, get in enough theories and everything. Let's get into the coding. Okay, first of all, you create your folder. I chose my folder to be P2P Video Core. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, a couple of things we need to install. Uh, I use yarn, so I can just init the project first. We'll just go yarn init dash y. Okay, now we have a package.json. Another thing is we need to init um, TypeScript as well. So we we can do npx uh, tsc dash dash init. Okay, and then we have two files here and let's open this in Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's uh, config our uh, package.json. Uh, I will place paste the code in. Okay, rather do that and I explain you know what, what it does rather than you watching me to type all this. Okay, let me explain what this script does uh, for them. Okay, to, to run this in um, in the command command line you you will go yarn and then surf and uh, surf will do uh, the following okay we'll go yarn build uh, which is this script here and this script what it does is yarn clean clean is the one up here rimraf is like deleting and then recreating this folder that's what it does and then tsc uh, it just compiles the typescript into vanilla js so our note js be able to read it and then yarn copy <coughs> sorry copy file uh, is this part here basically what it does is copying all these files um, into our source. Okay, we haven't got these folders yet. Okay, we, we're going to uh, create them in a sec. Uh, so basically, it moves all this stuff. Uh, this is our front end code. Okay, um, uh, into the this folder. Okay, and then uh, the second part of this serve script, the, what it does is like yarn node, and then runs the vanilla JS that is compiled from um, TSC which is TypeScript okay that's what it does okay uh, by the looks of it we need a couple uh, libraries um, the first one is Wimraf uh, actually this on a Mac okay it's standard it, it's all there it will work but on Windows user uh, it's not so Muzzle install that so it will work for everybody and also another one is T uh, TSC I have it installed globally uh, but if you don't have it, you need to install that as well. Okay, and there's one more thing, a copy file. Okay, we need to install that into the, develop, the developer um, library. Okay, let's install it. So what we need to do is we go yarn, add, 
we'll put a dash D, that means uh, developer. And then we're going to install these copy file. <coughs> okay, as I said before, if you don't have TSC installed globally, you just type TSC in the end as well. Okay, and now we have the dev, dev uh, dependency dependencies. Uh, that's the two we added. Okay, uh, next. All right, next we just need to add our uh, add the dependencies we need for this project. Okay, we're just going to add. We just need two. One is Express, and the other one is WS, which is the WebSockets package. Okay, and one last thing, we need to add the types for those packages we added. Okay, we add that into our development dependency. Okay, so basically we just have to go add, assign, uh, and the package name. Okay, in our case is WS, the first one, and the second one is Express. Okay, uh, we're all done here, and this is our type type uh, of TS config. I like to do it this way, but uh, I do recommend you go and read the documentation of uh, what this file really does. Okay, for our purpose, this this do uh, this will do fine. Okay, okay, let's get started on our project. Let's create some files. Okay, let's cre create the whole structure. Okay, firstly, we need a source folder. And inside this, we will need uh, index.ts, okay. And to house our um, front end, we'll just do it as three Ws, okay. We'll, we'll, won't won't do anything in there for now, okay. We'll, we'll do we'll get onto that once we start the uh, what do you call it the front end. All right, let's uh, start building our um, basic uh, web socket um, server, okay. Let's get started here, okay. Firstly, we need to install or uh, express into our project okay uh, that, that's how you do it normally on TypeScript okay if you if you think um, if you're coming from uh, JavaScript uh, this looks weird uh, yes it does but if you don't import it like that uh, it doesn't work uh, it, it gives you all sorts of error errors and here we in, uh, import the HTTP package so if you're using uh, HTTPS then you know you input the HTTPS Okay, it's pretty simple. And the third thing we need is web sockets. Okay, as web sockets. Web socket from WS. Okay, we got these done. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's do our basic um, Express uh, web server. So those of you probably know all this, you can probably skip skip this <laughs> to to the further you know pages. Okay, and while we're there, might as well make the um, HTTP server, the static file server as well. Okay, express then static and then double underline. Okay, directory plus and the actual lo location of uh, the folder. We call it three Ws. Okay. Uh, before that, while we add it, let's add an index in there. Eh? So we we have something to see here. HTML. Oops. HTML and then we'll just put hello world here. So when we do the testing later, we can see if this is working or not. Okay, let's get back to here. Uh, next thing, I will do some comments there actually. So you know when you look at my code, source code later, you know what this does. This basically initializes a simple HTTP server. Okay, that's what this part does. Cons, we call this server and HTTP dot create server and we pass in the app okay uh, the app from here sorry my typo I got a new keyboard so I'm not quite used to the keys yet <laughs> sorry about that okay and the next one we need to initialize the web socket okay web socket server okay we go cons web socket equals I need to put a new or all, all of this uh, you can actually find it on their uh, github repo the ws repo okay and then we need to pass in server and the path okay the path is when you what path you want this web socket to be hit okay uh, if you if you hop, hop over this it tells you what what it needs okay that's why 
TypeScript is so cool to use, you know, uh, because it gives you all this. Okay, before we do that, let's do a, let's start the server. Uh, listen, what should we call this? Uh, we'll call it ADA, ADA. And a function, okay, that expects a function. And we'll just console a lot, you know, just tell people, you know, the server is started. Or tell yourself, not people. Start it on port 8080. Okay. So practically, the server should be, you know, up and running. Okay. The second thing is we need to create a our basic root sockets um, folder, which is okay. We'll, we'll create a special folder for that, eh? Because I like to organize some um, files properly because um, uh, this will help, you know, in the future when when you want to come back to this code and do some modification okay let's make this folder first i mean this mm, this file this is where we put all our web sockets um logic okay okay first of all uh we have to import the web sockets in here again uh, yes again because it's not the same folder i mean not the same folder file so we will import this thing again uh, from ws uh, mainly we're going to use some types from this okay next we need to create a function uh, what should we call it uh, let's call it uh, with socket connection I think this name is pretty um, relevant and we use it as an async function and in this function because we need to pass the web socket values okay from our uh, uh, our index dot uh, ts okay and the types we're going to use for this is websocket dot server, okay? Because that's what this is, and this is the function, okay? And we better export this so we can call it in the front. So we go export, and we're going to export this function, okay? Socket connection, okay? Now, before we go any further in this this file, we go back to main, okay? We need to pass in the web socket this value here and to that file okay so what we do is uh, what should we we call we call this functions first socket connection okay and it, and we pass web socket in okay cool and I'm using the Visual Studio Code and that imports this automatically for me so if you're not using if you haven't got this plugin um, in store don't forget to add that because otherwise it's not going to work okay so we pretty much there okay uh, let's write a really really simple okay web socket connection and i will we'll test it out okay okay uh i just noticed sorry about that i can't spell you know i spotted a typo uh we better fix that otherwise the whole thing will break uh, let's go back here web sockets okay now we get back to our flow here uh let's make uh, let's grab this ws okay these are on um, function on is basically listen to the events that the web socket fires okay we have a lot of options here okay we will use message uh, the message will is you know what the client sends to our server okay message and it is a string okay that's why I like using TypeScript, you know, like with all these auto completion, okay, it's less chance you make an issue, you know, when you compile, okay, you won't, you won't even able to compile, you know, if you have an issue. All right, so we have it here, and what we do is we just do a console lock here, and then we can probably run uh, the server and do some testing, okay, and we'll, the message we receive, and let's say uh, we console lock that okay now let's okay let's test this out so we go yarn surf remember those scripts we wrote earlier okay in here so basically this is doing all the automation thing okay that means our server is working okay i'm using this web socket um, client okay uh but the, there is a chrome extension for this as well so you feel free to use that i'll put a link for this but this is only available for a um, mac but I will put the, the extension for Chrome uh, because it, it's basically the same thing, okay? So you put in your address, okay, uh, for WebSockets 
address uh, it starts with WS okay and then local host and then a port number remember we put the extension as WS okay then we go connect okay that means we're connected and let's try out our message uh, see if it works hello Ooh. hello world okay and we send it here we go looks like it worked okay um this is end of this um lesson okay i hope everybody learned something um and if you've got any um sort of uh, recommendation about the way i'm showing you if it's not you know some something i can approve please drop the comment down down below and also please subscribe uh, we will do a lot more this type of free tutorial in the in the future okay thanks very much until next time i'll see you then